All right, a husband and wife living in Jacksonville are urging the U.S. to accept Ukrainian refugees immediately. A lot of people really asking people, potentially open your doors for mm -hmm. these families. They say it's such a dire situation, as you've seen here with all of the stories we've been telling you. The couple began an online petition after struggling to get relatives to the states following Russia's invasion. As News for Jack supporter Brianna Andrews explains, the husband says he heard the moment Russia attacked. Ukrainian native Mikhail Grieg was on the phone with his mother when it all began. He heard the explosions in the background and even did what he could to guide them out the country while using maps on his phone. I just can't believe this is happening to my country. It just, it, it, it still feels like it's a bad dream. A few days ago, the life was normal and now they are refugees. Michaela Gray moved to Jacksonville in 2005. He and his wife Ashley Testa have been married for 13 years. As the humanitarian crisis unfolded in the Ukraine, their only focus was to get their family out safely and into America. But with no official Ukrainian refugee program offered in the U.S., their hope to be reunited again quickly diminished. You know, we just feel like the least that the United States could do is provide assistance to refugees and allow them to come to the United States, um, especially those that have family here um, and who have sponsors that can support them. I personally don't understand why we as Americans cannot help families to reunite like my family and myself. Watching this crisis unfold from thousands of miles away left them feeling hopeless. I called my sister and I talked to my mom and they, they're crying all the time. It was just really frustrating. That's why the couple started this petition on change.org asking President Biden to launch a refugee program to help Ukrainians escape to America. No matter how long it takes, they say they are not giving up on the people they love. The good news is that some of Mikhail's family, including his mother, were able to escape to Poland, but it was a dangerous and rigorous journey. Now, it typically would take about a five hour drive to get to Poland from where they live, but it took five days because of the invasion. And he still has several family members who are hoping to escape Ukraine. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.